What's up, Core Reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Breaking news in the case of David Eason, Janelle Evans, and their daughter, Ensley Julie Eason. According to the Ashley, Janelle Evans was just granted temporary sole custody of Ensley. And that shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody because David Eason has not had any kind of contact with Ensley since March, um, you know, many, many months ago. And that includes the fact that he also didn't reach out to her after she had surgery. Remember, Ensley was having some sort of an ENT issue. She had to get surgery for it. Uh, Janelle publicized it very much on social media. In fact, the whole reason that they even knew that she needed this and decided to go ahead and get her checked out for this was because of the public. People were noticing that Ensley always sounded congested. They kept on telling Janelle something was wrong, take her to a doctor, take her to a doctor. Janelle kept on denying that anything was wrong. But upon leaving David Eason, she decided to finally go ahead, get Ensley checked out, and then it was determined that she had a serious problem that required surgery. So any regular parent would be concerned reaching out like heavily to make sure that everything is okay with their daughter, but not David. In fact, David hasn't even tried to establish any kind of a custody agreement with Janelle over their children. He actually skipped out on pretty much every um, hearing and he was actually on TikTok Live with his new girlfriend while the hearing was even going on. So yeah, that just to give you guys a little bit of an idea. So um, the judge said, and I quote, the best interest of Ensley would be served for sole physical and legal custody to be awarded to Ms. Eason today with there to be supervised visitation held off unless and until a psychological evaluation for David has been completed. So per usual, David Eason is gonna have to prove that he is psychologically sound enough to be around children. How strange and embarrassing is it that you constantly have to be subjected to this? Maybe, you know, you would start to wonder, hey, like maybe I should kind of like tighten up the way that I'm behaving and stuff for this to constantly be a factor in my life. It is not normal. Um, well, obviously David Eason doesn't think like you're your average person, right? So he's not gonna, he's not gonna make any kind of effort to get involved in his daughter's life, and he's not gonna make any kind of offer effort to get himself psychologically evaluated so that he can be there in Ensley's life either. Now, um, so Janelle has recently come back to Teen Mom Next Chapter, but all and all of her children are filming with the exception of Ensley. And that was specifically because David decided to stick it to Janelle by refusing to allow Ensley to film for the show. The children need the waivers of, you know, all custodial parents to be signed for them to be able to film for the show. And David was exercising his power or authority over Janelle by refusing to do his part to allow his daughter to be filmed. And Janelle brought that up in court, according to the Ashley sources. And they said, uh, and the judge basically said like, hey, okay, well, listen, seeing as you now have temporary sole custody and whatnot, like, there you go, right? Like, Janelle is going to be able to film with Ensley. And so when it comes to TMNC and the TET mom shows, they typically start filming early and continue filming as like things are happening throughout the year. So don't be surprised if you see this play out during the season and then you see Ensley suddenly appear on this season of the show as well. Now, although David has not made any kind of effort to visit Ensley or anything like that, the judge also said, quote, based on the evidence and testimony presented here, the defendant, David Eason, does not reside in a place that would be safe and suitable for the minor child. So Ensley wouldn't even be able to visit David on Janelle's boat that he's squatting on, even if he was making any efforts to bring her there, because it is not a, 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 a safe place place for her to be. Mind you, I don't even think that David is still living on that boat. I think he's currently, he's been rehomed uh, with a new girl. I made a video about this girl. She recently went on social media to defend her decision to be with David Eason. Her name is Kenley, by the way. You can go ahead and check out that video. She's got a home. She's got horses. Like she seems to be living a good life. And for some reason, she decided to add David Eason to that. Uh, word to the wise, Kenley. Um, you're going to see the way that your life goes from, you know, seemingly great or at least decent right now um, to 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 turmoil, you know, involving yourself with David Eason. Um, 
Anyway, you guys, that's just the update that I've got for now. For more full details, make sure to head over to the Ashley's Reality Roundup.com to read her full story on the situation. I just wanted to update you guys on the nitty gritty. Janelle Evans was granted temporary sole custody of Ensley. And I don't really see that changing because, again, it does not look like David Eason wants that to change anyway. David Eason is not interested in working, sustaining himself. He doesn't seem interested in reaching out to see how his daughter is doing or anything like that. So it kind of looks like it's going to stay this way for the foreseeable future. How do you feel about it? And prayers out to Ensley Jolie. Imagine, you guys, a judge having to decide whether you are better off staying with David Eason or Janelle Evans. Like, there, there really is no winning here. But I digress. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.